And deep in the going gets tough, as they say, the tough get going. That is the saying, one entrepreneur though, teaching average Aussies, even ones with little or no computer experience, how to get their own online business up and running, and more importantly, turning it into a success. He's called his training program Geekversity to tell us what it's all about. Sean Stenning with me now in the studio. Sean, the name alone, hardly a positive sell, but I mean, you're, you're kind of promising big things here. Within days of being on the course that you run, you're saying people can really make a living out of this. Just tell me the basics. Yeah, well, uh, based on the experience for us, uh, last weekend we had 112 people start their own internet business overnight. Um, came into the uh, event on Sunday and had just made money as well. So we're fairly positive. We've got a su successful form of a formula for people to go out there and create an internet business and create success from that as well. You've kind of got a step-by-step -step plan, which has been distilled into five key points. Walk me through this. Passion is front and centre, right? It is. Like, we, we think if you're going to be successful at something, you've got to enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. And a lot of people are in a job right now where they're not enjoying what they're doing. So this is allowing us to get them into something that they really like. So we've got clients who are doing scrapbooking and food and yes. everything that they love. How did you yourself get passionate about it? Oh, well, that's a, it's a fairly long story, but uh, let's shorten it up. Um, for me, really, it's, um, I've been an addict to technology for the last six years, and I uh, wanted to find a way where I could make money out of technology and you know, play online games and all that kind of stuff, and so that's how I've fallen into it. In terms of the research, it's a bit like finding out if someone else has done the same PhD topic as you. I mean, you've kind of got to make sure that there's no doubling up. What happens if there is? If you're passionate about something that's already out in the market, you have to scotch it all together, or is there still a way of kind of squaring the, you know, squaring the circle, as they say? Well, the good news for us is that there's 1.5 billion people every day online, so even if there is a competitor out there, there's enough market for us to go and create money out of it as well. So it's not really about how many competitors there are, is, it, is there market demand? And in most industries now, there is market demand. Mm. Uh, we've seen the, the internet increase, for example, last year, online revenue, um, went up 10.6% and it's aimed to go again higher this year. So it's a growing industry and we find that most passions are successful. You've got to obviously build a website. That's not cheap these days. Plus you've got to get traffic to that site. Walk me through costs for an individual as opposed to contracting that out and also then how do you steer people your way, not someone else's way. Well, yeah, it's really good. Look, there, there is this perception that you need to pay for an internet business, but um, we're teaching people through uh, our two-day program how to create an internet business for free so that they can go along and not invest any capital outlay, because that's one of the big things that stop people getting into a new internet business or new bus business venture is that upfront capital outlay. So we're breaking that down and saying, you actually don't need to invest any money. It's all just time and, you know, knowledge as well. So if you can invest those two things, you're going to be successful. Yeah. Um, so, and you know, the traffic side of things, we're teaching them, uh, you know, ways of generating traffic for free as well. So that's our whole, you know, ethos in our course is we want you to be able to do it without spending any money. Give me one little example of someone who's. Uh, what about the food blogger? Tell me about the story. Quit his day job, now making fifty grand. How's he done it? Yeah, we call him um, Wasabi Neil in our office because he he writes um, about uh, different food interests that he's got. Mm. Um, on his blog he's selling advertising, so purely an advertising medium and advertising to the number one industry online at the moment. So for us, um, he just writes a daily blog and that's all he really does. So by just simply clicking on that ad, he's getting revenue, even if a, a sale doesn't eventuate. Is that the way it works? Yeah, yeah. So he's getting a, a pay-per-click revenue. So someone clicks on the ad and he gets the revenue out of that. Yeah. And is it enough to walk away from a day job or do you counsel people and say, look, hang on, give it six months, don't be rash, don't kind of think it's a road to nirvana, or, or can you actually say with certainty that it is? Oh, look, we do a, a we call it an income replacement strategy. So the the more that you start earning online, the less you can start going to work or having to do employment related income. And for example, this month we've had 12 people who have left work and become full time internet marketers. Mm -hmm. About 30 percent of our crowd start making money and immediately they uh, leave our room. Mm -hmm. So you know we see these kind of figures and we think it is realistic for people to be able to achieve these results because we are out there achieving them in the marketplace with people who have got no experience with internet marketing. What are people passionate about? What are you seeing as a trend? What, what, what do we like out there? It's very interesting actually. Um, we're seeing a lot of people to do stuff around health 
okay? Health seems to be a growing market. A lot around travel, I, I go into these events and I ask people, you know, what are you passionate about? And 90% of the time, hands go up around travel. You know, we want to be able to travel more and spend more time with our family. So we've got people out there doing, as I said, scrapbooking, food blogging, um, change management in businesses, all of these different topics. Sean, it's intriguing. We could talk on and on. We have to leave it, unfortunately. Best of luck with it. The Geekversity, the challenge is on for you. These seminars are starting, what, even this week? You, yeah, you're optimistic people will get themselves out of bed even on Easter, Easter weekend. We do have one this weekend, and we're hoping that people can uh, come to it, uh, attend it, and then not have to go back to work after the long weekend. Details online, www.geekversity.com.au. Sean, many thanks.